Um, well, the goal of the Pillar 1 is to enable the construction of digital twins. If you want to give a longer history, then I would like to say that the idea is to combine what we have about computational mechanics, that is a predictive model of the physics, with the use of supercomputers uh, by defining a workflow that enables uh, taking full advantage of the modern hard hardware. So the potential users of the workflow are on one side companies, I mean uh, research and innovation department of companies that have a product of which they want to develop a digital twin and on the other hand researchers in various fields uh, that ultimately want to enable uh, scaling up their workflows so to eventually be able to simulate and to create digital twins of complicated objects or processes normally in the field of manufacturing. Maybe the keyword digital twin is not completely clear here, but the idea is that when you create, when you have an object or you have a process, you want to create a replica of this object on which you can make experiments in a way that is simpler and or more exp or, or cheaper than uh, than making experiments on the real model. For example, if you have an engine, you would like to know what happens if you put it in a condition in which it may overheat without having to, without incurring the, in the risk of burning the real motor. And actually an engine is the demo on which we will concentrate for, uh, for this project. When you want to use a supercomputer you can think of two things. You can think of parallelism and you can think of concurrency. To understand parallelism is like a race, I mean, the 100 meters in which you have a few parallel lanes and each goes as fast as it can, but there are no obstacles along the lane. Everything is designed so that the different runners can run in their own lane. Concurrency is like a basketball match, okay? In a basketball match, you have a lot of actors, each, they are acting in parallel, but they need to interact. Well, Simulating a complicated object or constructing a digital twin is like a basketball match. So we need a workflow that orchestrates the different agents and, and this is what we are constructing. We are constructing a workflow that, can, that enables a digital twin but we want to do so to use a supercomputer. The manufacturing sector has a direct interest in this. Actually, one of Departments in the project is Siemens, the research department of Siemens, but there are other companies that could be potentially interested. Um, we are speaking with other companies right now. The idea is that everything is open source, so uh, they get a tool that they can actually introduce within their own internal pipelines. Okay? And I mean, from the industry point of view, this means that they may eventually be able to scale it down so that it goes on the onboard computer on, of, of the machine or the, of the product they are interested in. From the industry point of view, I mean, this is doable, but it's not easy. So they need the expertise of our expertise, let's say, the expertise of research centers in supercomputing and of research centers in uh, computational mechanics. And our hope is that this will create a communication with industry in a way that was not possible before.